This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. Or in case if you're new here, welcome to Dr. Teeth. I am Dr. Hina and I make dental videos. So if you go to our channel or on our website, you can find hundreds of dental videos just for you. Anyway, let us begin today's video. In this video, we are going to cover color and aesthetics. The basics of color, the physiology of color, the three coordinates of color will be covered, the hue, value and chroma. And also the two color system, the Munsell color system, also the CIE color system. And in the next video, we will be covering the shade guides. Some of the popular shade guides will be covered. Okay, so what is color? Color is a sensory perception and it may be defined as the physiological response to a physical stimulus. So it is a sensory perception and it is a physiological response to a physical stimulus. What is that physical stimulus? We'll see that we have a light, it falls on an object and we observe it. So in order to appreciate color, three conditions have to be satisfied. We need to have an object, obviously what we will see. And then we need to have a light and there has to be an observer, okay? Let us suppose we have a object here and it is blue in color. Now when the light falls on this object, some of it will be reflected and some of it will be transmitted. So this scattering happens at a certain wavelength, okay? Some of it will be absorbed and some of it will be scattered and that is happening at a certain wavelength. Now, the color perceived of an object depends on the wavelength of the light reflected by the object, okay? Now, if we look at this image here, we can appreciate that the visible electromagnetic radiation is in the range from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer. Now, let us see the types of receptors we have in order to appreciate color. We have the rods and we have the cones. Now, rods are for scotopic vision, means they help in the interpretation of the brightness of an object, how bright an object is. While cone is for photopic vision, means it is responsible for the color vision. C for color, C for cones, okay? And R is the what? Brightness, okay? Now, at the center of the retina, okay? We will have more number of cones while the periphery will have more number of rods. I repeat, the center of the retina has more cones while the periphery has more rods. So what is the significance of this? The significance lies here. Because during shade selection, the patient should be viewed at the eye level. Okay? Because we have to make sure that the cones which are responsible for color they lie in a straight line because we have to check the color right so it is important to have the patient at the eye level while shade selection now a very important topic the three coordinates of color this will be asked to you multiple times throughout your life if you are in dentistry and let me tell you, it is one of the most confusing topic also. 
the hue, the value and the chroma. Now hue is the color, value is the brightness and chroma is the saturation. Now hue, it refers to the dominant color of an object. Dominant color means whether it's red, yellow, green, blue. Means you can easily differentiate between these color. These are the dominant color. That is the hue. Then we have the value. That is the brightness. So it refers to the darkness or lightness of a color. Then finally we have the chroma which is the saturation. So it is the strength or intensity of the color or degree of saturation of a particular hue. This particular hue, let us suppose orange. Okay, this is a hue. How much saturated this hue is, how much intensity of this color is, this particular color is, that will be the chroma of this hue. Okay, understood? So we can remember hue by thinking it as different color pencils. Okay, different color pencils are our hue. Then we have the value. So, as already told, it describes the lightness or darkness of an object. The whiter it is, the higher the value. The darker it is, the lower the value. So, this can be thought of as a student who is bright and hence has more value. So, if you are a bright student in class, you will have more value. Similarly, if this is more bright, it has more value. And if you want to be a bright student, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also give a thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, let us proceed. Then we have the chroma. So, this is the saturation of a particular hue. So, you can imagine this as different shades of lipsticks, you know, slight variations. You no, know, girls are very good at this. We understand the subtle differences in the color. We will have this color lipstick, still we will take this one. Little bit of difference, that is the saturation or the chroma. Now boys are not good at this. <laughs> now we have the color system. Now there are two popular color measuring systems. One is the Munsell system, which is a visual system. And then we have the CIE color system. I think it's Commission International Declarage. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry for that. So each of these discs, these are specific colors, right? And the chroma is the intensity of these individual discs. Means if you look at the center here, see, if we look at the center, it is light orange. Here we have a darker orange. So this is the chroma, okay? So it is the intensity of these individual color. See here also. See here also. Similarly, we can see everywhere, right? So, chroma is the intensity of the color. So, we can see that the chroma increases from the central axis towards the periphery. So, towards the center, least chroma, you can see it is light orange. And towards the periphery, we have the highest chroma. Then, then we have the Munsell Book of Color. So here we just have, you know, different color chips numbered according to the three parameters. Means the hue, the value and the chroma. And the color of any object, it can be checked by comparing it with these chips under proper lighting conditions. And this system is very useful for matching denture-based acrylic, gingival porcelain, etc. Then we have the CIE LAB color space. So L here, same as the Munsell, it also refers to the value. Okay. Zero is black and 100 is white. Highest value, right, is white. And A here we can see we have, here we can see we have positive A, which is red. And here we have negative A, which is green. Here we have positive B, that is yellow. And here we have negative B, that is blue. 
Now correlation between the muncil and the syllab. Similarity is that all of them have three coordinates. The color space is in three coordinates, right? And the value and the L, these are proportional to each other. The value of the muncil and the L of the syllab. They are proportional because both of them had that, you know, rod going from top to bottom. And the difference is that the chromatic characteristics are represented in the muncil system by hue and chroma and in the syllab system by A and B. Okay, minus and plus, right? Okay, so now we have reached the shade guide which belongs to the next video in the future. So if you found this video helpful and want me to continue with the shade guide, do let me know in the comment section below. And also don't forget to give a thumbs up and share my work because it really motivates me to create more videos of this kind. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.